Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. We're throwing them down for January 2022, and I still can't wrap my head around it being almost January of 2022. Time has flown, let me tell you. Anyway, Aquarius. If it resonates with you, cool. If not, check the moon rising and Venus sign reading. Either way, it is your choice to do whatever you do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. Time and energy are both fluid, so place yourself wherever you see fit. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Everybody's always welcome on my table. I love it when people stop by. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come hang out some more, you need to check the check the subscribe button and the notification bell. I am struggling with my intros today for some reason. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. I've opened comments back up as long as people aren't being jerks. I'll leave them open. Absolutely. And anybody can hit the like button at any time. It is all very much appreciated. It helps the channel grow and it helps the messages to be circulated to those who might need them. So, a couple quick things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it's just simply not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. Don't cause problems in your current connection where there don't need to be any. It's not always going to apply. I try to make these as general as possible. Give this one a quick shuffle. Don't want to do it like that. Trying not to read reversals. If they come out, they come out. Okay. Let's invoke the cards and get them down. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 20, 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Aquarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. I'm going to set these out of the way. I'm bringing back Golden Oldie. Yes, yes, I am. I haven't done this one in a minute, so bear with me. I mean, I did it for Capricorn, but I'm a little out of practice, so. Okay, what do we got? Nine of Wands, mmm. Feeling a little combative? Possibly, could have your walls up. And this could be wanting to give something one last go. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Eight of Cups. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Three of Pentacles. Mm, what are your intended actions? Three of Swords. Oh no. What's the outcome? Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe I'll just want to take it slow. Alright. Let's get the other person here. The Emperor, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Wheel decided that wanted to pop out and say hi. Hmm. Could be an Aries, could be any fixed sign, could be an Earth sign. King of Swords popped out. Could be someone who's brutally honest. Screaming Gemini. Could be any air sign. Let's see if any of them come back out. I have to be gentle with this deck. Eight of Wands. Communication, communication, communication. Fast movement. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's why you're combative. How do you feel? 
Okay, how do they feel? What do you, they think about you? What are their intended actions? What's the outcome? Hmm. Page of Swords. That's honest communication. Might be a little bit of an age gap. All right, what's going on here? One of the nine of wands for you. Okay, I'll take two. Why is there a reversal? <coughs> well, it came out reversed, so we'll read it reversed. Page of Swords chariot reversed. Hmm. Why the chariot reversed? I'm feeling like you want to slow things down. Possibly explore some other options. Maybe you don't know where this is going to go or what path you're going to take yet. Why the Eight of Cups? For how you feel. A Pisces. Oh gosh, where'd it go? I know it's in here somewhere. I saw it. What? Strength reversed. There it is. Five of Cups reversed. <sighs> Possibly not processing some past emotions, wanting to walk away because they don't trust the situation hung up and stuck. Is this you or them? Do you not trust it? I feel like... Are you ready to walk away or do you... Are you afraid they're ready to walk away? Alright, what's the Three of Pentacles? What do you think? Oh, you definitely view them as the catch. You think they're amazing. I'm gonna build a foundation. Alright. Why the three of swords for your intended actions? I was afraid of that. Ten of swords. Oh, Aquarius, I'm so afraid of that. All right. What's the Seven of Pentacles all about? Five of Pentacles. Waiting it out. Ten of 
Ten of Cups reversed. Aquarius, what? All right, why the nine? Why the Eight of Wands for the other person? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Impatient, 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 impatient. Why the Three of Cups? The view you is closed off. You feel like you just want to be friends because you're closed off. Your walls are up. Yeah. Moving forward, moving on. It's another eight. Maybe they feel like you're talking to other people. There's that's where the lack of trust comes in. Okay. Energy of avoidance. Why the king of wands for what they think of you? Why the king of wands? Six of pentacles. Generosity, equal give and take. But they think you just want to be single. You're a little fireball. Could you, they could think you're sexy too. So, okay. Huh. Huh. There are a lot of rods on the table. I'm just throwing that out there. What are the intended actions? Why karma? Why karma for the intended actions? The sun. Oh my gosh. They want a connection with you. They want old stuff to die so a connection with you can be born. That's what they want. Nice. They want family. They want happiness. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups reversed. But they feel like their cup isn't good enough. Wow. Wow. They might know you have options or you're exploring other options. They want to be an option. Wow, Aquarius. All right, give me one more on this Three of Pentacles up here. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I need one more on that. Because if you're viewing them as the catch... Why don't you trust them? Justice reversed. something they're having trouble letting go of. Maybe they just maybe you just don't see marriage in the cards. Jumping something about jumping. Jumping in too fast. Something about letting go too soon, jumping too fast. You want to build friendship first?
You have things you need to work through. You don't want to break their heart. But inevitably, you might have to break it off to get through your stuff. Okay. Alright. I mean, that's fair. I just don't want you to miss an opportunity. Cause bad blood. Oh, man. Give me one on this hanged man for the outcome for the other person. I'll go build my tower elsewhere. They're going to stay stuck on you, but in inevitably the cup's going to end up being spilled. They have to cut themselves down out of the gallows. Yeah. Knight of Cups reversed. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Oh, man. Things left unsaid. Things left unsaid. Y'all gotta communicate. That's all I have to say about that. Y'all gotta communicate a little bit better. Hard work's paying off. Okay. Give me a wisdom. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Time for a nap. New moon and Capricorn. Okay. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds a new start. of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time for either to, to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan or strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years. That will inform your best course of action now, so think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is you want to achieve. All right. I could see where that would apply in a relationship thing. You're thinking long term, maybe they're thinking a little short term, eh, time for a nap. Two plus four is six, number 24. This is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, your desires. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back. Take a seat and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent any force of conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. Maybe some of y'all need to take a step back and figure out what you want before you take action. Okay. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed the golden oldie. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Have a safe, 
happy, healthy, and wonderful 2022. Peace, love, and light.